remainder theorem now when polynomial fx is divided by x minus k then remainder is f of k in fact when we divide polynomial fx by x minus k remainder is always constant and the value of that constant is f of k for example if we divide x square minus 3x minus 4 by x minus 2 then remainder will be f of 2 now the value of f of 2 is 2 square minus 3 multiplied by 2 minus 4 which is minus 6 this minus 6 is the remainder when this expression is divided by x minus 2 try this question we have fx is equal to this expression now what is remainder when we divide this by x plus 2 that will be f of minus 2 now it is given that remainder is 5 then we compare f of minus 2 to 5 now how we get f of minus 2 in this we rip put x is equal to minus 2 so we have 2 into minus 2 cube plus 3p into minus 2 square minus 4 into minus 2 plus p is equal to 5 we have then so we have value of p is equal to 1 now when now consider here polynomial here let's consider divisor and here consider remainder now polynomial fx is divided by suppose linear the remainder will be constant when fx is divided by some quadratic the maximum degree of remainder is 1 or we can say remainder will be either linear or constant when fx is divided by cubic the remainder will be either quadratic or linear or constant in fact when fx is divided by n degree polynomial maximum degree of remainder is n minus 1 because when we divide fx by n degree polynomial the degree reduces and when degree reduces to n minus 1 we know that 
n minus 1 degree polynomial cannot be divided by n degree polynomial. For example, if fx is divided by suppose x square minus x minus 1 then we write fx is equal to qx where qx is quotient multiply by divisor x square minus x minus 1 plus remainder now remainder here will be linear function and linear function can be written as ax plus b now remainder may be constant at that time value of a will be 0 solve this equation here this is 4 degree expression which is divided by this quadratic and we have been given that remainder is linear so we can write this expression like this here qx is quotient uh, x square plus x minus 2 is divisor plus 4x plus 3 which is remainder now to get the value of a and b we require two equations in a and b so by putting x is equal to 1 we get or a plus b is equal to 3 now put x is equal to minus 2 we get or 2a is equal to b now solving equations 1 and 2 we get a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 solve this equation the question is when unknown polynomial divided by x minus 1 leaves remainder 2 when divided by x minus 2 leaves remainder 1 then we have to find the remainder when it is divided by this quadratic let's unknown polynomial is fx with respect to this divisor we can write fx is equal to quotient multiply by divisor plus remainder now you now how you write the remainder since we are dividing by quadratic our remainder must be linear and we know linear expression is of the form ax plus b it is not necessary that remainder is uh, always linear it can be a constant so if remainder is constant automatically we get value of a 0 now to get value of a and b we require two equations in a and b for which once we put the value of x1 and once 2 by putting x is equal to 1 we have f of 1 is equal to 0 plus a plus b now what is f of 1 it is value of remainder when fx was divided by x minus 1 it is given that remainder is 2 then a plus b is equal to 2 now put x is equal to 2 so we get f of 2 is equal to 0 plus 2a plus b 
and the value of f of 2 is value of remainder when fx was divided by x minus 2 which is given 1. Now solving equations 1 and 2 we get value of a is equal to minus 1 and b is equal to 3. Okay now uh, let's see uh, factor theorem. Now we know that when fx polynomial is divided by x minus k the remainder is constant and we write fx as qx multiplied by uh, divisor x minus k plus remainder r. Here r is constant because we are dividing fx by x minus k. This qx is quotient. Now what is the value of f of k? It is uh, 0 plus r or remainder is equal to f of k. Now what factor theorem says if fx has one factor x minus k then fx is x divisible by x minus k then this time what will be the remainder? 0. So when fx is divisible by x minus k remainder is 0 then from this we say f of k is equal to 0. So this is statement of factor theorem that when fx is divisible by x minus k then the value of f of k is 0. Obviously when uh, one of the factor of fx is x minus k then when you divide it by x minus k the value of remainder will be 0. For example prove that fx is equal to this cubic polynomial is divisible by x minus 2. The one simple way is you can simply divide this by x minus 2. We know how to divide any polynomial with uh, other polynomial. But with the help of factor theorem, we can find the value of f of 2. What is f of 2? That is 8 minus uh, 6 into 4. That 24 plus 11 multiplied by 2, 22 minus 6 this is 30 and this is minus 30 then the value of f of 2 is 0 what this means x minus 2 is factor of fx okay try this question when this cubic polynomial is divisible by x minus k then find the value of k we consider fx cubic function now if this is divisible by x minus 1 what will be remainder 0 and by remainder theorem what is remainder when polynomial is divided by x minus 1 that is f of 1 now for this situation we have f of 1 is equal to 0 this means 1 minus 3 plus k plus 2 is equal to 0 from which we get value of k is equal to 0 Try this question. Find the value of k if x plus 2 is factor of this polynomial. So we take f of x is equal to now 
x plus 2 is factor of this uh, function then what will be value of f of minus 2 0 by factor theorem so we put here x is equal to minus 2 and compare it to 0 so we have the value of this is minus 1 what is minus 1 power 7 minus 1 then we have k minus 4 cube is equal to 1 or k minus 4 is equal to 1 then value of k is 5 ok try this equation this quadratic is factor of this polynomial then we have to find the value of a and b so let fx is equal to this polynomial now x square plus x minus 6 can be factorized to x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 now fx is divisible by x minus 2 and x plus 3 so we have f of 2 is equal to 0 and f of minus 3 is equal to 0 now putting x is equal to 2 in this we get or by simplifying we get a minus b is equal to 13 now put x is equal to minus 3 into this then we get or by simplifying we get 4a plus b is equal to 67 now we can get value of a and b by solving equations 1 so we get a is equal to 16 and b is equal to 3 okay solve this equation here c and d are roots of this equation then we have to prove that a and b are roots of this equation now we know that when fx is equal to 0 has root alpha then fx has one factor x minus alpha now given equation has root c and d then this expression has one factor x minus c and x minus d so we can write this expression in terms of its factor as x minus c multiplied by x minus d now we want roots of equation x minus c into x minus d plus k is equal to 0 so we can see that k can be shifted this side so we get x minus c into x minus d plus k is equal to x minus a multiply by x minus b now this is quadratic function which has factors x minus a and x minus b so we can say equation has roots a and b this is how we correlate uh, factor of uh, expression or a function to the root of its corresponding equation